Eighth Global Family Office Investment Summit here in uh, Dubai. Uh, we are joined by another distinguished interviewee. Uh, we have here uh, Derek Tam from TR Exchange. So it's very good to have you here. Thank you. First of all, why have you decided to attend uh, this event hosted by the Retosa Family Office? Why uh, it's important for you to partake in such a uh, in such an event? Well, it's uh, the eighth running of the event. Uh, it's a very famous um, conference. Uh, we want to increase our exposure to the family office um, investment um, community. And uh, we're here to raise funds for our project. Did, did you find so far the uh, investment, uh, the, the, the global family office investment community responsive to uh, uh, your, your pitches? Did you find this experience useful so far to boost and increase your network? Yes, uh, very, no, very useful to um, meet a lot of uh, high, quality, high quality investors. And uh, our, our idea is quite unique and innovative. And we find that um, investors that we've spoken to have generally been very receptive to the idea. So let's talk about uh, your idea, which combines your former job with your current passion, horses and finance. Could you elaborate on that? Yes, uh, I'm from a financial background. Uh, I worked in various investment banks uh, and hedge funds before as an investment manager. And my passion is in horse racing. So I, my 20 years of experience in trading and in investments, combining with my passion in horse racing, um, I'm finding there's an opportunity to, whereby we can uh, build an exchange for racehorse owners, for them to have a more uh, centralized marketplace to trade and thereby releasing the liquidity premium. So um, you have already explained to us a little bit how your, your ex exchange, your TR exchange works, but could you give us more details for a person who is not familiar with, with finance because uh, uh, you are also issuing a token to make it more understandable for people and more uh, uh, easy to, to you, uh, use? Yes, so um, TR exchange, which stands for Thoroughbred Racing Exchange, we are doing an STO, a security token offering. So um, to give you a, a better explanation of um, how it works, basically um, I will use a stock market analogy. So what we are building is a dig digital exchange for um, resource ownership. So instead of trading company stocks, we will be offering um, users to trade the ability to trade um, fractionalized horses, which are the assets. Um, if you had to give a piece of advice to anyone who, is, who wants to go through uh, an STO, what would that be? What are the keys for a successful STO? I think the key to a successful uh, STO is to come up with a proper business plan. We have a, you know, um, to tackle a a real life problem to come up with a solution that uh, is um, feasible where technology can really uh, disrupt uh, the current process. We have seen a wave of ICOs in 2017 which have evolved into STOs which are more secure and reliable. So uh, what is the key, what are the distinctive features of this second type of uh, issuing? I think the main difference would be the, uh, the regulated nature of STOs. So the STO that we are launching, the, uh, the T-Rex uh, token STO, will be regulated by the US SEC. So that will give investors a lot more confidence in what they're investing in. Is it difficult to get SEC approved given that they're sometimes very strict? Of course, you have to go through the uh, regulation process, the application process to fulfill the requirements of the SEC. But again, going through those hurdles, it gives you extra confidence as an investor that uh, we meet those requirements. Lastly, uh, what have you find more useful throughout these two days? Which piece of information have you absorbed that you have found more interesting in these two days of conferences and one-to-one -one and uh, roundtables? 
what I find most interesting through uh, communicating with the the um, investment community is really what they are looking for from an investment perspective. And you do find that um, a lot of them are interested in alternative investments, which we are obviously offering, you know, because the horse racing industry is completely um, uncorrelated to traditional assets. You know, price money growth uh, around the world has been, been growing steadily. Uh, in Australia, which is going to be our focus market, has uh, the price money has grown uh, at annual rate of 7% over the past 10 years. Well, thank you. Thank you very much to uh, Direct Tam, uh, which is a COR TR exchange. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. That's the